guys, how's it going? I uh, came out to this new little area and um, I've already filmed a few videos here, but while I was at it, I had thought to uh, to kind of kill two birds with one stone. Um, I've got a couple of day hike videos out and uh, I've gotten a couple of questions as to um, what I take and what's the kind of stuff that I would bring with me if I'm gonna be out, um, out for the day, you know, food and all of that and uh, surprisingly weight hasn't been a question that I've gotten but um, I thought since I was out here and I have what I would normally bring with me that I would just uh, open the bag up and go over it with you and uh, and show you what what I take so maybe it'll uh, give you some pointers or help you out or I don't know I mean it's always we all like watching people open up their bags and show us what's inside so hang with me guys and uh, we'll get that going all right guys here's the uh, Here's a day pack that I use more often times than not when uh, when I'm out and about. And this obviously will vary depending on how long I'm going to be out. If I know that I'm only going to be out maybe one or two hours, I'm probably going to bring hardly anything. It's mainly just going to be water that's going to be my weight. But like on a day like today, you know, where I'm out here for, you know, the whole day pretty much, um, I do bring stuff to cook and, and eat and all that so I don't have to leave. And if I find a spot like this that I really like, I can stay there. So. Um, this is just the Hidden Woodsman Day Ruck. Uh, I've had it for a while. I've done a video on it already. Um, so, get on the inside and right off the bat, because I sweat a lot, uh, I have a uh, Shemag. Um, I keep it right at the top because, like I said, I sweat a lot. And then today, the food that I brought was a uh, little Velveeta single serve mac and cheese. Can just boil up water real quick um spam and a little sweet treat uh nutella pretzels so and then i have a bag of uh pistachios in here in case i want something as i'm walking so um that's my food and then uh, i always keep a couple of packets of hot chocolate in my bag no matter what if i'm going to be out for the day or for the weekend or whatever uh, there's always some in here in case uh, I want a hot drink. All right, so this is my 32 ounce water bottle. Uh, this is the one I drink from. So all the water in here is uh, reserved for, for me to drink and put in my body. Um, this is a little Thermarest seat pad that I got. I've been using it, uh, I really like it. It's, uh, it's just enough cushion to, uh, to put under your knee. And if you find a good spot uh, on the ground, you can kind of fold it a certain way like this. And you can put it behind your head and it works as a little impromptu pillow so um next i have my knife when i'm actually hiking and moving and i'm not just uh going to a spot and setting up camp for the weekend i rarely put uh the belt on my or the knife on my belt and i know a lot of people are going to fringe on that and and say what happens if you lose your pot your pack well I'm on a day hike, so it's not, I'm not gonna lose it. But when I'm moving, it's just something that keeps my pants from getting pulled down and extra weight on my hip. And if I need it, I can just set my bag down, open it up and pull my knife out. So it's just what I prefer. Um, and this is my LT Wright uh, Beard Lore, the custom pout house that I had made, the custom pout house blade that I had made with a, uh, an LT Wright fire still. Um, next, this is a little, cook kit that I have so uh, this is a 32 ounce hydro flask I like this because uh, I can put hot liquid in here and before I get to some place if I want to go ahead and have some a hot drink it stays hot in this and uh, it's just nice it's really rugged this is a snow peak or a uh, or a totes 750 uh, pot little cup or whatever and I just what I do is I put the lid underneath and that way I can slide the bottle here and I pull the drawstring tight and it keeps everything together so this is what I'll use to cook today and uh, whatever's left over I'll drink it a pair of gloves these are my favorite gloves Tillman's 1414's 5 medium um, and then this is something new that I've gotten and I've used it once and I really like it already it's the uh, Optimus Crux, so the stove 
fits in this little case and then that goes underneath your canister so it packs down really small uh, I went with the crux instead of the crux light because I like that it puts out a little bit more heat and it's a little bit bigger and that's it just folds down like that you just pull this down and it's got a little bearing kind of and then that slides up and it screws into the top so it's a I think it's a 300 watt I'll have to I'm gonna do a separate review on this later but just so everyone knows that is something new that I got and uh, I actually really really like it it's just really convenient especially for the day to not have to build a fire and wait for coals and all that I can just put this and then with that titanium pot put water in there and have it boiling in less than five minutes so it's uh it's just convenience really and where I'm at too you know I think it would look it'd be found upon if I had a fire raging out here so this allows me to cook food and uh, and not have a fire um, I got a couple of uh, this is just stuff that stays in here all the time uh, ridge line paracord and some bank line um, and then this is a little first aid kit uh, this pouch was made by my buddy Clint Cannon and I've got uh, some balm in there some a fire still uh, fire is first aid some duct tape and uh, a comb and some tweezers and a couple of bandages this is my little utilitary pouch I keep stuff in here my headlamp batteries uh, sharpening device and my compass and also have a, uh, a handled awl in there and then uh, in the bottom of the pack I have a space blanket that's just folded up it's a like a grabber um, in the front pouch up here I've got my wallet and keys and a multi-tool and then uh, on the side here I got my Baco and the Baco uh, pouch and uh, a Sea to Summit titanium uh, spoon fork thing so that's what I carry for the day and uh, like I said if I'm gonna be out here for you know six hours seven hours I'm gonna get hungry and so this gives me more than enough if I had to stay the night that I could be okay and it also gives me uh, everything I would need to to cook a meal and stuff so hope you enjoyed this guys it's just a little quick video on uh, what I keep in my my kit for a, for a day little day hike and uh, I'm gonna get this stuff put back up and cook you some lunch so hang in there I'll show you show you what we're cooking up today Here's one of the other springs. Isn't that cool? And there's more down there. I mean, this whole. Oh, I just fell. <laughs> it's always something with me, isn't it? Oh, Shiza. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I just busted my butt. Almost went in that water. Wouldn't that have been fun? But yeah, here's.